is there anybody that you've been around that he lined you up or he could, or he could be? Uh, I was at a place last year that had a pretty good receiver that he uh, he's barking up on right now. Who's that? Uh, Corey Coleman. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, is he, he's is he going to be good? I got him on my fantasy football team. Well, he broke his hand. <laughs> broke his hand, so we'll see. But uh, Sheldon has those those qualities, just the, the, the will, the eager to be a great receiver. You know, And that's 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 hard to find as a coach. You, you really don't find those guys. And he has it. What did they do to Dekeel to take him away? Uh, you know, it's this weird not seeing him catching balls. Out there. Well, this is the thing. Like, certain teams just take things away. And then other guys have the opportunity to succeed, and it just it wasn't his game. You know, he still made a couple catches, but it just it wasn't his game. It was it was more vertical and screen game. Thank you. No problem. Speed is a gift, right? But being able to use it is maybe something else. I mean, uh, uh, he finds a different gear. You know, he, he and being able to catch the ball over his head the way he does. He's a little more than just just a speed guy. Well, he he's he's learned how to gauge it. I told him it's, it's just like uh, shifting gears in a car. You know, uh, you have to know when you get up close on the guy and you stick your foot in the ground, you have to hit another gear. And I, I mean, that's probably the only thing I really stressed about him running the deep ball. So whenever he got close to a guy, he stuck his foot in the ground, he hit a gear, and that creates that separation. What is the secret to finding the ball? When you're going down to as fast as you can go, and the quarterback's throwing from behind you, and it's coming over your shoulder, and like the one catch he had to make, reaching out to, I mean, that was just a hell of a, hell of a catch. Uh, we do a lot of pat and go, and I stress letting the ball fall over your shoulder and guiding with your hands. So uh, we do that every day. We do that drill every day, and it, it helps. I mean, it, it makes you a center, field, center fielder playing receiver. And how much back shoulder stuff do you guys do as, as a group? Uh, we, I mean, we do ball drills every day. That's, that's one of my biggest things. You gotta, when you, when you play in that position, you gotta catch a ton of balls every day. And you might only catch two in the game, but you have to catch a ton of balls every day. So we do back shoulder, low balls, high ones, jumping up two hands, everything, everything.